In the Eastern Panhandle, there are lots of things to do and explore during the day. But what at night? Most cities have ghost tours visitors can go on to learn more about the area and its history, and even its dead. Anne Kilfern makes sure that these experiences happen in Charlestown. I got into doing the ghost tours, supposed to be a two-night gig to help bring tourists into Charlestown. The mayor asked me to do it, um, and I did it, and here I am 15 years later. I just became very absorbed with the people that I told the stories of. So I spent a huge amount of time at Shepherd University up at the courthouse doing interviews, just research, 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 because they were real people and I felt like I knew them. The more I read, the more I knew them. And then their descendants would come and visit with me. And that was so incredibly cool to hear the stories from them. Anne is spirit sensitive. She can feel, see, and sometimes hear the spirits of Charlestown but she's not from here. Something more brought her to the town. I have an emotional connection to Charlestown. My grandfather owned racehorses, and so I remember falling asleep on a saddle blanket over at the racetrack, but number one, because I was asked to, and number two, there's so much history other than the Washingtons and John Brown. You know, each family has their own history here. Some of it dark, some of it joyous, but the more you dig, no pun intended, uh, the more you dig, the more you come out with, and you just really feel like a part of the community. Ghost tours can be corny, but Anne's are different. She describes it with one word. Passion. Passion, and I get excited. I will, if someone drives by and is playing classic rock, I break out in a dance and generally at least two or three people on the tour start dancing with me. It's fun. It's watch. It's fun to watch people light up. It's fun to watch people that don't know each other from different States all of a sudden become friends by the end of the tour. So it just, it's a part of me that I, that I can't let go of. Anne prides herself on her accuracy of each story she tells to a group. She's done meticulous research of the area and the people of the past. This history is connected to the things locals say they hear and see. Anne's goal is to find out what are these connections. For example, at the old opera house, people talked about for years uh, hearing two men arguing and then pop, pop, and nobody knew what it was. And I'm, I'm looking up information on something else And I found a letter from a Yankee officer back home to his wife talking about an unfortunate incident that occurred the night before. What had happened is two men were drinking. They got into a fight, did not use their fist. One pulled out a pistol, shot the other dead, and he was to hang the next day. Well, I ran over, asked one of the historians, uh, I'm bugging them all the time, where would they have been? He said, oh, that's easy, honey. He said, right where the old opera house is, exactly where they hear it. So you run into things. It's like all of a sudden you can give these people their identities back. She tells the story of people of the past so they can be remembered. She wants to make sure the history of the townsfolk is told. But as a person of faith, Anne is asked why she believes in ghosts. She explains it simply. I think they're, they all visit. And this is, this is the way that I look at it. Okay. I go to church. I believe in God. And people have asked me over and over again, well, how can you do ghost tours? You know, how can you believe in ghosts? And, uh, which I prefer to call it spirits. But I think of it this way. When we die, we go to whatever we believe heaven is. And that becomes our home. Now I have a home here on earth, but I can leave anytime I want and go visit someone and then go back home. I think it's exactly the same thing, that we are given free will to come back and check on the people that we love, or to torment them. (laughs) That'd be me. Anne's tours are so thrilling and educational. Recently, she trained three more tour guides to help her company as she begins a new journey in Virginia. She loves what she does, and she wants to share that passion with the locals and visitors. 
Always be like a child. Believe in what you can't see. You can book a tour by visiting her website, charlestownghosttours.com. With TV10, I'm Cade Miller. <laughs>